5 o'clock on this Wednesday evening, October 23rd, 2013. Time now for the Weather Magician PJ Wins Evening Report. Wednesday, October 23rd, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our current conditions at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We got a temperature of 48 degrees with a humidity 63%. Light rain is in the air with a wind speed is about 3 miles per hour. Barometer 29.61 inches, 2.36 degrees, and a visibility of 10 miles. Okay, let us take a look at our radar scope. Shows a couple of batches of rain, showers, and light rain in southeastern Massachusetts, stretching in Cape Cod, stretching out in Severn, Rhode Island, then down to Southern Connecticut, down for eastern Long Island, and off the Jersey coastline and stretching off the New Hampshire. Main coastline and a couple of batches of rain shows off Nova Scotia and stretching into the Prince Edward Island of Canada. Here. And the rain shots stretching in eastern Connecticut and weapons uh, has a couple of blobs of popcorn clusters of showers and a few south starts from, from northern New Jersey to New York State down for western Pennsylvania, West Virginia, down West Virginia, down to Ohio, Michigan, Indiana. Ontario, Eastern Illinois, down for Wisconsin, and a couple of pelts of snow from Eastern Minnesota, down for Wisconsin with sleet, and also Stanford, Michigan, and Northern UP, Michigan, down to Northern Ontario. Latter rain showers in Southern Iowa, down for Northern and Eastern Missouri, down to Western Illinois, yeah? They found blood in the second floor bathroom, but only... Couple of line of rain showers in Western Cuba stretching off the southwestern Florida coast on a line of rain showers off the, the southeastern Florida air. Line of rain showers and a sleet and snow pelts in eastern North Dakota down western Mon Minnesota down for southern Manitoba down at eastern Saskatchewan with rain showers and snow stretching on Ontario. All right, let Molden Isle, good afternoon, 64 degrees here. Saturday Loop shows a couple of batches of clouds covering Alberta, Canada, switching to Montana, and Wyoming down to the Dakotas and down to the, the Northern Plains states and down to the Great Lakes and switching to New England and down to Atlantic Canada here. And another line of clouds covering Florida down to the Governor of Gulf of Mexico down to Mexico here. All right, let's take a look what's going on in the tropics here. Tropical storm Lorenzo movement, five miles per hour. 100 degrees, wind speed 45, got to the 60, pressure 1,006 millibars, and it's zero chance uh, that it's going to hit landfall in New England, or in the mainland United States. Travel storm Raymond movement, 9 miles by 250 degrees, wind speed 50, got to the 65, pressure 1,000 millibars, and it's been providing rains and wind to southern Mexico, south coastal Mexico. The word she's being described as a dynamic, brilliant ray of light. It is a close knit super typhoon. Look, keep a movement 30 miles by 295 degrees, wind speed 160 gusts of the 195. Teacher was once a student. The first thing you noticed about Colleen Richter was her beautiful smile. The 24 Typhoon Francisco movement, 5 miles by 320 degrees, wind speed 35, gusts at 90 miles per hour. And it's going to bypass the Japanese coast, spring of rain and wind here. Okay, let us take a look at our rain, weather, weather map that shows a uh, cold front from high pressure centered in Alberta and southern Missouri down to southern Texas. Two batches of low pressure from the Florida coast with a stationary front and switching off the coast and then a stationary front from the Florida cold front from Virginia, North Carolina. Carolina station for the Carolinas, down to Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi, Louisiana, down for Texas and Oklahoma. A cold, a warm front, Screw Kansas, and a cold front for Nebraska, so should Colorado, and Wyoming, and Montana, here. And final boundary from California, and Wisconsin, and on it. Northern UP, Michigan, and a cold front in Lit Ontario, and a warm front in Manitoba. Okay! Fenway forecast for game number one of the World Series. First pitch, 7.30, 46 degrees with draft skies. 7 inning pitch, 45 degrees with overcast skies. And 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. final pitch, 45 degrees with mostly cloud skies. Okay, 7 day forecast goes like this. Fur! Late afternoon, a slight chance of rain, class guys at 53 degrees, calm wind, chance of precipitation 20%. Tonight, slight chance of rain before 7 p.m., then the chance of spring left before ending, cloudy skies at a lower end 40, 34 degrees, and calm wind becoming west around 5 miles by after midnight. 
Thursday, Pots and Sands Guys and Grudge are becoming sunny skies and I under 57 degrees. Light west wind around. 11 to 60 miles per hour, increasing in the morning. Thursday night, most of the coast skies blowing 34 degrees. West wind about 5 to 7 miles per hour. Friday, most of the night skies are under 53 degrees. West wind about 6 to 11 miles per hour. Friday night, most of the coast skies blowing 31 degrees. Saturday, most of the night skies are under 55 degrees. Saturday night, chance of showers, most of the skies blowing 41 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Sunday, parts of the sky is at 56 degrees. Sunday night, parts of the sky is low 34 degrees. Monday, both of the sky is at 56 degrees. Monday night, parts of the sky is low 33 degrees. Tuesday, both of the sky is at 56 degrees. Tuesday night, both of the sky is at 39 degrees. And Wednesday, a chance of showers, both of the sky is at 59 degrees. Peters, we're afraid of the evening. A cloudy and a slight chance of rain on tap for tonight for the World Series. But it's good to go. This is PJ Whistling. Have a good day with a good positive attitude. And a good evening. Go!